the Support Foundation is awarding me a house because of, well, that's what they do, I guess. <laughs> it's very, very nice. I'm still kind of in shock because of it. Uh, it's going to provide a very stable place for my family to be raised. Uh, my kids will be taken care of, which is just beautiful. We are so excited to be here in Eugene, Oregon at the University of Oregon's Ducks game to be able to be on the field with Dr. Pepper at Walmart and Military Warriors to really be able to honor one of our nation's heroes. Wells Fargo's donated a home. The Project Rebuild's come in to do some sponsorship of that hero. So together as partners, we're really just taking care of this nation one hero at a time. Tell me about the house itself. Have you seen it? Have you been through it? I've, I've seen pictures of it. It is uh, two bed, no, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, fenced in backyard, which is more than I could ask for. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. I live in an upstairs apartment, uh, one, two bedroom, one bath. I got three kids and a dog. Uh, my neighbors don't like it because I got three kids and a dog. Um, my kids don't have a backyard to go play in right now, so it's going to help them immensely just growing up, being able to a structured environment. Paul was injured while in Iraq, sustained injuries that was to be able to award him a Purple Heart. And we're excited to uh, have this family be able to be in our organization and receive a home in Dallas, Oregon. My, one of my battle buddies, uh, he's been awarded a house also, and then he let us know about the foundation and we filled out the application and yes, I, I'm very grateful for him. The family applied for our program through our Homes for Wounded Heroes program, putting in their application for the Oregon area. Uh, the criteria for our program is not being a current homeowner with a mortgage along with being combat wounded. And so he, he did fill both of those items and was able to work with our team. I'm, like I said, still in shock. I mean, it is great because I was trying to get a house by myself and after I got out of the military, my pay got cut in half. So I just started going into debt and ended up having to go through a bankruptcy and then the dream of a house got farther and farther away. So this is a, definitely a blessing. I, I am very appreciative of what this foundation does and they need more support so they could keep helping soldiers.